Ah, the old air ride versus hydraulics. Uh, I started out with hydraulics because when I got into it, there was not air ride. So I went for about 10 years with hydraulics before I switched over to air ride. I was a little late to that, to that game. So anyway, let's get on with the comparison. Let's talk air ride and hydraulics. The pros and cons of just a basic setup. Um, either one of these setups can easily be made reliable. Um, they can ride awesome. Either one of them, you just got to have the know-how and the money. But let's look at like uh, basic kits, like just a basic kit, bottom of the line, like a two pump hydraulic setup and air ride. You know, you could go with compressors. It doesn't really matter as much uh, you want. You're gonna want a, a couple pumps at least and hydraulics one for the front one for the rear there's blocks and stuff but just for the ease of conversation let's go with the two pump setup and that's what the Isuzu has here got the old pro hopper kit um, this one I pulled the motor off trying to get it to see why it's not working um, but anyway some of the things to consider is space um, hydraulics are going to take up more space. Um, like I said, two pumps, um, and the pumps are quite a bit larger than compressors. Here, I'll even show you that. Um, hydraulic hose line is bigger than air line. Um, you've got to have batteries. Um, you can run off of two, but I'm... I like three or four. Uh, but here's the difference. So there's a, a pump. And there's a Fire 485. So you can see pump takes up quite a bit more room. Um, uh, the cylinders. So let's see. So there is a cylinder and a spring in there. And then there, you know, is what you would use on the rear for airbag. So a little bit different size there. I would say as far as mounting cylinders, that might actually be a little easier. Um, they're long, but you know, they don't take up much space. So especially in the front, you know, you don't have to worry about anything like uh, rubbing, like on you do it, like you do with a bag um, on the back. Um, bags are probably fit in there a little nicer. Um, you're most likely going to have to cut a hole for your cylinder. Um, you can run them on the outside of the frame. And I think I, I think early on in these, when I ran them on the outside, I think I got away. Maybe I think I just had to cut a hole for the hose to go through. So there's that. Um, air ride. Um, you know. You can go with as big or, or small of a tank as you want. So, like here's a five gallon tank right here. It doesn't take up too much space. So, if you're really trying to save space, you know, air ride's gonna be the way. Um, with the hydraulics, the, um, the pumps are pretty good size, and then the batteries. That is going to take up some real estate under the bed, in the bed, you know, whatever. Um, ride quality, um, you know, out of the box, it's going to be air ride. Uh, throw some shocks on there, and I mean, it rides great. Um, you know, even the cheapest air ride setup, you know. It's gonna ride pretty good. Um, hydraulics. If you're just going with a basic kit, um, even if you run some soft springs, it's jarring. Um, you can put accumulators on it and it rides much, much better, but that's uh, quite a large expense. Um, I'm not really sure how much they cost now, but I think back in the day, that was like another 400 bucks at least. 
because you need one for each cylinder air ride straight out of the box is gonna ride better um, but the fun factor I find 36 volts to each pump whether you do three batteries to each pump or just run them all the batteries to both pumps that's what I usually do uh, but 36 is uh, it's fast enough you know for it to be fun and um, I think that at 36 you get that sound um, you know you know the sound when you hit the switches on hydraulics the sound is undeniable you know if you run 24 it sounds a little bit weak and then if you run 12 it is uh, it sounds like the the pump is struggling um, cost wise um, air ride's gonna be cheaper uh, you can get into some pretty nice components you know for a decent cost um, it seems like hydraulics have gotten pretty expensive for a basic kit and then remember you got to get three or four batteries to make it worth it you're looking at least about a hundred bucks per battery all in all out of the box on a basic setup I would go air ride if you want a nice ride um, reliable maintenance on them um, air ride like the kit that I have on Skippy right now I um, on the regular I drain the air traps after using it and that's about it I don't really do a whole lot the kit's been in the truck for almost 20 years and it's just fine um, Skippy this truck that I'm leaning up against right now uh, started with hydraulics back in the uh, mid 90s and then went air around 2004 2005 and you know it's just you don't have to worry about charging batteries like you do with hydraulics I mean, the more you play with it the more you're gonna have to charge your batteries um, I have had the chargers that can charge multiple batteries at the same time so you know it's not that bad but it's still it's still something you gotta keep up on you know if you keep your truck in the garage and you have an air ride set up I mean it's gonna last you a long time um, hydraulics I noticed the more you let it sit the more things get a little finicky o-rings in the cylinders um, you play with it a lot and especially on the front you know if your cylinder's not perfectly straight up and down um, you know just a little bit of an angle in the front and it's gonna wear the o-rings you know you're gonna have to replace those every once in a while I would say I did it every two three months on the Azuzu back when it was a daily driver and I drove it a lot so I mean it, and I played with it a lot because it was the early 90s and not many people had adjustable suspension so I had to show off as much as possible that's just how it goes now I'm an old fuck and uh, yeah, don't don't have to uh, play with it as much so like when I drive Skippy around I kind of get it in its stance and just roll um, only only play with it on a need to basis like need to show off not just showing off the whole time and here here's the setup this is a typical air ride setup on this uh, nothing fancy you got a five gallon tank that's an old mic tank got a vire 45 or 480 whatever it's it's like a 20 year old compressor um this I got a four link in, but yeah, and, you know, the bag mount, you know, it's, it's, it's down right there. There's the bag. Um, so yeah, that's your, uh, basic rear air ride setup on the front, you know, the bag's just mounted on the A arm and you got a small mount and that's it. Um, here. So here is one of the pumps. The other pump is sitting right there because I was playing with the motor earlier, trying to figure out why it stopped working once we uh, trailered it down here. It was working just fine. Pull it apart. Damn things looks brand new inside. So now I gotta figure out what the fuck is going on. 
Um, like I said, there's the size comparison between a pump and an air compressor. And you can run one air compressor if you want, if you don't play with it a lot. I am adding a second compressor to Skippy over there, just so it fills up a little bit faster. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's the basics there. Um, so all in all, if you just want, you know, quick, reliable, um, easy to deal with, I, I would go, I would go air ride. But if you want to cruise and have the ultimate fun with adjustable suspension, you got to go hydraulics. It's, it sounds cooler, three wheeling. Yes, I know you can three wheel with air ride, but you, you got to jump through hoops to do it. You know, I, the, the setup I have on Skippy here, you know, I can't come close to three wheeling. The, um, it's not stiff enough. The Isuzu, um, all you gotta do, lift it all the way up, dump one corner, turn real sharp, and gas it. Now, if you want to do a standing, um, wait. So, I'll let you in on a little secret. Back in the day, back in them 90s, uh, to get my trucks to three wheel really easy. I stopped working out, so I had all these weights. You take these weights, put them in the corner of the bed, or I, I knew some people that welded weights to one corner, you know, the corner that they preferred to three wheel on. Mm hmm. Yeah, see where I'm going? That weight. Pulls that ass right down. Wheel comes off the ground. There's three wheel. I'm telling you. Uh, Dragon's fun. Three wheeling's funner. I'm t I'm, believe me, you. Let's take a look at uh, some of the different components for each. All right. So switch panels. So air ride, you can go manual, like that. That's the old MIC. Got the AVS here. That's an electric one. And then here's another manual, the four play little Larry's. Um, so that's another cool thing about air ride. You can do electric valves or you can do manual. Um, let's go, let's go look at uh, valves. Um, I have silencers on mine, so that when it goes down, you don't even really hear it. So um, people are going to be like, why do you have a mounted inside your vehicle? But right down there, are, there's eight valves behind the seats. Um, you know, with the silencers, uh, like I said, you can't even hear it go down, so you don't hear that loud air noise. I put them in there just so they stay clean. Like, uh, you pound them under the bed, like, you know, they get dirty. You might start having some issues with them. Uh, these are mounted in the cab, you know, never expo exposed to real moisture, dirt, or anything. And I've had these for years, zero issues. Zero, zero, zero. Like I said, you can do manual or electric. So, you have some different options for like how the switch panel looks and stuff. Um, oh, see on Skippy, so I showed you those manual valves and stuff, but on here, whoops, right there. That's um, that's the kind of thing that can be used for hydraulic setup or air ride. Um, you know, you can use the electric panels just the same. They, so you can use like an old school hydraulic setup, kind of like that one. I'll try to go over here, just get to the one in the Azuzu. It's kind of tight over here. But there's the old clear one. 
You've seen those a lot back in the day. Air ride, if you want to save space, if you want to build it as you go, start out manual, then you know you can upgrade to a block or you know electric individual valves. Um, you know, the world is your oyster. Uh, no, hydraulics, hydraulics, um, you know, you can go a long way with those. Um, you can add as many pumps as you want. Um, like a lot of the competition guys, you know, will have a pump going to each cylinder, a bunch of different valves, um, and you can really move some fluid. Hydraulics is definitely more of like a, a show um, kind of thing. Uh, I don't know if I would ever do hydraulics on a daily driver again, unless I really had the money to make it ride nice. Overall, you know, you know, air ride's probably, you know, the one that most people should go with. Um, keep the hydros, you know, for the cruisers and for the fun. You know, that's why I have both. Uh, installation. Um, to me, they're about the same. About the same amount of cutting, about the same amount of welding. Um, you can install one, you can install the other. Um, no real issue there. Um, all right, pros and cons of each of those. Let's go with space. Um, you can save space with air ride. Um, the components are generally smaller. Um, yeah, hydraulics take up some real estate. Uh, basic. Air ride setup, five gallon tank. You can go a single compressor if you want to save space. Um, airline, the diameter is much smaller than than um, hydraulics. Yeah, this is just based on the basics. Air ride. Um, if you install it correctly, um, it's going to be a little bit more reliable, uh, maintenance wise, easier to maintain. Batteries, obviously, on the hydraulics have to be charged. And a hydraulic pump, you know, I've I've never burned up a good fire compressor. Um, hydraulic pumps, I have. I've burned up decent motors. Um, yeah, they just seem to be a little bit more finicky. Uh, they're they're pushing a lot more psi. Um, it's not even close. Um, basic air ride setup is not pushing much hydraulics, you can put a lot of power to it, and so things are gonna wear out a little more. Um, ride quality, uh, you know, a, a simple setup, it's gonna be air ride. You know, hydraulics, you can add accumulators and make it ride great, but that's a pretty large cost. And speaking of cost, um, all, an air ride setup, um, if you go with just the basic stuff, uh, go with some manual valves you know it's, it's not going to be too bad hydraulics you know just the hydraulic kits pretty spendy and then on top of that you're going to have to get the batteries and those are going to be at least 100 bucks a piece and i think you have to run at least three i mean yeah i've in a pinch i've used two and it's not it's not fun you know it'll get truck up and down but you want to go three or four. Um, I've got three on the Azuzu over here. Yeah. And that's where it starts to give you that sound too. You know, the uh, popular sound of hydraulics lifting, uh, that's just the voltage going to the motors. You put one on there, it sounds sick and very unhappy. Just put 36 volts on there, 48, and you get that zing that you want. So basically overall, you know, I would say uh, if you're new to just a little suspension, you know, air rides gonna be the easiest for you. Um, it's definitely more something you could put on a, a daily driver and have little issues. Um, hydraulics, you know, 
if you're just doing a standard setup, it's not going to ride the best. Um, you have to make sure those batteries are charged all the time. Um, solenoids burn up. I've, I've gone through a lot of solenoids. Um, O-rings and cylinders, especially on the front. I've had to go through a lot of those. So yeah, hydraulics, you know, you just got to stay on top of it a little more. Um, not as fun for daily use. I did it for years. Um, but yeah, air ride, you know, just starting out now. Um, hydraulics are way more fun though. Um, easier to get them to hop um, and three wheeling. I know you can hop on air. You can three wheel on air, but you can do it right out of the box with hydraulics. Um, little trick is that you take some weights, you can weld them to the corner of your frame, boom, shit three wheels, no problem. Yes, cheated. Yeah, you know, there's just not enough weight on the mini trucks to three wheel real good. So you gotta, you gotta do what you can. And you know, when you stop working out, take those weights and weld them to the frame. <laughs> Brittany, bitch. All right, let's wrap this up. Air ride pros. Um, a little bit cheaper. Rides a little nicer. A little easier to maintain. Um, hydraulics. Pros. It's it's more fun. Yeah, it's. It's just more fun. I, I, yeah. If you're just out cruising, you know, not in a hurry to get anywhere, and you just want to play, hydraulics is the way to go. But overall, you know, air ride, air ride's the way to go just it's just easier to deal with but here let me let you in on a little secret other than growing a skull um, have one with air one with hydraulics um, yeah that's the way to go now I, I went a little overboard um, skippy air um, whatever I'm gonna name this truck the 720 air um, the old school build over here the I've got an air ride set up for it so I mean you, you can kind of see that overall you know um, it's just easier with air um, and then air rides also going on the love of my life's truck that's sitting outside so, yeah, air overall wins the battle. But if you're just sprinting, you know, it's, it's hydraulics. I mean, yeah, just go watch, go watch some hydraulic videos and then go watch some air videos. It's just, it's just more fun, fun. That's what it's all about. <laughs>